Hey guys, had to go to my office for a meeting uh, on Friday, February the 10th. And after the meeting was over with, they, you know, told us that uh, we could go home or, you know, take the rest of the day off or whatever we needed to do. Anyway, since I was in Columbia, I decided I would go to my favorite comic shop there. Well, I really didn't know what, the, what I, you know, what I was going to find. I really didn't expect to find very much, to tell you the truth. Uh, last couple times I've gone, I mean, I found some good stuff, but it's been kind of hit and miss, mostly newer stuff. But this time I found some older stuff that really made me happy. I picked up some newer stuff too, but anyway, the older stuff is uh, toward the end. Anyway, first book I picked up was Lex Luthor, The Unauthorized Biography. I have uh, wanted this book uh, for a while. I've seen copies here and there, but they were always um, a little more expensive than I was willing to uh, spend. But this time I found them in the uh, dollar box. So, picked them, picked up, picked this copy up. Found these. I had seen these before, but anyway, just kind of unusual. Baseball Legends Comics by an outfit called Revolutionary Comics. It says, unauthorized and proud of it. Anyway, this is number two, which, as you can see, features Ty Cobb. And I also picked up number seven which features uh, Sandy Koufax they had a good many other ones in there um, if they'd had Babe Ruth I'd have probably picked that one up but that one they didn't have just thought these were kind of cool uh, the artwork the at least the cover artwork is uh, pretty good so thought I'd pick them up now Aliens and Predator Duel number one of two just thought this looked like a pretty cool fight um, I had uh, heard that some of the Alien vs. Predator books were pretty cool, so picked this one up just to see. Um, oh, and by the way, all of these books were 50 cent apiece. Got Havoc and Wolverine Meltdown, book three. I've got book one. I, I know I've got book one. Not not sure if I've got book two or not, but I had never seen this uh, this one, so thought I'd pick it up. Now, Captain America, 65th anniversary special. I'm a Captain America fan. Uh, hadn't seen this one before. Uh, thought it looked pretty cool with the image on the cover. I uh, kind of flipped through it in the store. It looks like it's got an old uh, Captain America and Bucky World War II story in it. So as soon as I saw that, I you know I had to get it. Got Grendel, Devil's Reign, number one of seven. I have issue number three. Mm, it was it was kind of kind of it was so so. Uh, thought I'd give it another chance. So I picked this one up uh, to kind of read the first issue. So we'll see. Got Grendel, black, white, and red. I think this is number two. Anyway, just thought this was an interesting concept. Like the uh, cover, so picked it up. Got Avengers. The early 2000 series, number 83, and number 84. Just thought those looked pretty cool. Got The Prisoner from DC, book A. I remember watching reruns of uh, this series from the 1960s. It was always just a, a weird series. Um... There's a lot of fan sites out there, people who love this this series, or the TV series, and just thought I'd pick it up, uh, just kind of, you know, have and read and enjoy. Got Batman and Robin, number 16, part of the Death of the Family storyline. Um, don't buy very much New 52 stuff, uh, just don't, but 50 cent, and considering it's part of Death of the Family, I thought I'd pick it up. Got Batman and Robin number 23.3 .3 with Ra's al Ghul and the League of Assassins. Like Ra's al Ghul, he's one of my favorite Batman villains, and uh, this, this cover was, I thought, looked pretty cool, so I picked it up. Got Fred Hembeck, Destroys the Marvel Universe. 
I've heard about this book for years, that it was really funny, and, you know, saw it in the box, and, you know, just thought I'd pick it up. I've always liked him back stuff anyway. He's, you know, kind of off offbeat and just, he does some good, good humor comics. Got Captain America number 285. Nothing special about this issue, except it's a Mike Zek issue. Um, it's one I didn't have, so picked it up, fill a hole. Picked up the West Marvel Westerns Outlaw Files. This is a uh, more of an imp information book than anything. It's got uh, profiles of all of the Marvel Western heroes. I flipped through it and it just, you know, it it looked like they did a really good job with it and it had really nice artwork in it, so picked it up. Never seen this book before, but this is. Speed Racer number one. Can't remember what comic company this was from. I remember watching Speed Racer as a little fella and really enjoyed that series, so picked it up. Picked this one up. Just They had a lot of these called Caliber Presents. This is number 22. Uh, picked this one up because it had Lee Harvey Oswald on the cover. Um, supposedly, it gives a comic book uh, version of the Kennedy assassination it says on the bottom on the newspaper I don't know if you can read it, it says the truth behind the most shocking crime of the century just thought I'd pick it up 50 cent I mean why not I mean even if it's you know just drink who cares just thought it looked interesting uh, Dawn of the Planet of the Apes Contagion this is a San Diego Comic Con exclusive. It says so. It says that's what it says on the back. So I'm a Plan of the Apes fan. So and Boom Studios usually does a really good job with their Plan of the Apes stuff. So picked it up. Got Stray Bullets number 40, Sunshine and Roses. This book actually came out. Only came out about a year ago. It's not in the best of shape, but uh, I've always enjoyed Stray Bullets. So picked it up. Mr. Monster Attacks, number one. Number two. And number three. I like Michael Michael Gilbert's uh, Mr. Monster. This was a collaboration he did with Tundra. Uh, Tundra Publishing. I just thought it, you know, looked pretty cool. I mean, you got the Nazi bondage cover. You've got the monster cover and you've got the uh, Mars Attacks cover. Yeah, you know, I just thought that looked pretty good. I'm always, like I said, I've always liked Mr. Monster. Picked up Battle of the Planets from Top Cow, number one and number six. I've actually already got number six. I picked it up just because uh, I was kind of in a hurry. Didn't realize I had it till I got it home. But anyway, I mean, uh, I always love Battle of Planets. This book's got great artwork in it. So, picked it up. I mean, even if I don't do anything, but just uh, stick it back and use it to get it signed or something, that'll be fine. Get these. All right, got Battle of Planets, manga number one, and number three. Like I said, I always like Battle of the Planets. Um, this one, I kind of flipped through one of them in the store. Got some uh, manga-esque artwork in it, and uh, just like a really interesting, you know, take on Battle of the Planets. Got the Goon. This is a 25 cent issue. Not exactly sure when it came out or anything, but. I like the goon, so just picked it up just to read it. That's Superboy, number 196. Supposedly this has a Legion story in it, uh, and I think this is the issue, the the issue before it turned into Superboy and the Legion. I think it was in 197, so didn't have this one, so picked it up. Picked up Legion, number 275. Again, just one I didn't have. Number 319. Picked up Weird War Tales. 
Number 19, I have always liked these old weird war tale books. Um, this one just had a really, you know, I like the cover on it. Just looked, uh, you know, typical weird war tale cover. Uh, when I find these cheap, I always pick them up. Got Tooth and Claw, number one. This one got renamed uh, Autumn Lands, I think, with number two. Um, I picked up a couple other issues of this series, and as I said in, my, in one of my other videos, this was a commandy story that Kurt Busiek wanted to do at DC, and they just, you know, I guess couldn't find a place on their schedule or just wouldn't let him do it. So he took it over to Image and uh, did it there. It's a really good book. Um, if you're a Commandy fan, even though it's not said specifically that it's Commandy, he's got every character from Commandy in here, and he's got them tweaked just enough to where you know who they are, but they're not similar enough to get him in hot water with DC. Anyway, really cool book. Uh, GI Combat, number 171. I actually had a, have a copy of this book. I don't think mine has a cover, not exactly sure. But anyway, I'll, you know, if it's an upgrade, it's an upgrade. If it's not, it's not, or whatever. Anyway, it's no big deal. You know, they paid 50 cents for it. Thought I had all of these. Uh, found one that I didn't have. This is War Story Archangel. As I've said before, this these are some of the most realistic um, war stories I've ever read in mainstream comics. Garth Ennis wrote all of them. Uh, they came out, uh, I mean, this is part of the Vertigo imprint, they came out like one or two a year for a couple of years. And they were just really, really good. And uh, I enjoy reading them a lot. Anyway, I also found this one in the box. Hero Bear and the Kid picked it up because it's got, you know, a sign and it's got an original sketch on the front from uh, the creator, Mike Kunkel. Um, you know, for 50 cent, I mean, heck, I mean, it's got original, it's got, a, you know, like I said, a sketch and a sign, so why not? Plus, I think Mike Kunkel is supposed to be at Heroes Con this year, so if need be, I mean, I, you know, I imagine this book won't ever be, you know, worth a whole lot of money, but you know, that's not my purpose anyway. I just, I just, you know, I like sign stuff, plus stuff with original sketch. Pretty cool. Got House Secrets, number 87, with a Neil Adams cover on it. You know, anytime I see any, you know, any Neil Adams art, especially from the early 70s, which when, in my opinion, he was at his peak, I'm going to pick that up. Got Fantastic Four, number 195. I've already got this issue, but this one is a definite upgrade. Um, the one I've got is the one I bought off the stands when it came out, and it's in kind of rough shape. Uh, so, picked it up as a, an upgrade. This is Werewolf by Night, number six. To be honest, I didn't know that this book was in there. Why, you ask? Well, I picked up an issue later on, a gold key issue of a certain title, and it was Twilight. It was a Twilight Zone comic from Gold Key, and it was like really thick, but it was bagged, so I didn't, you know, I didn't really pay any attention. I just thought, oh, this is just an exercised issue. Well, I got it home and I started, you know, thumbing through it, and son of a gun, this one was stapled in there. So I got the staples out of it and got it out so got that book for a quarter since I paid 50 cent for the other book anyway like I said I look at it even though it was even in there got Uncanny Tales from the Grave number eight um never seen this title just uh you know thought it had a cool covers you know mid 70s so 50 cent picked it up Marvel Superheroes featuring the Hulk and Submariner number 41. Anyway, just, you know, early 70s book, picked it up. Marvel Team Up number 14. This one I found out that I actually already have, but this is 
an upgrade for me. Uh, the one I've got, I'm pretty sure doesn't have a cover, but, uh, you know, thought I'd pick this one up. I honestly thought I already had this one. I thought this, you know, I was like, well, this, you know, this might be an upgrade, so I better pick it up. But I actually didn't have it. I've got number 13 and number 15, but didn't have this one. I think I may have had it at one time, and it probably got traded away or something, but anyway. So, glad I picked it up. This is a... Well, anyway, I had heard that this was an appearance of Superboy Prime. Can't Couldn't verify that. Um, I looked online, but it really didn't say one way or the other. So, but anyway, thought I picked it up. Haven't seen very many of these. This is a copy of Magnus Robot Fighter from Gold Key. Not sure what issue number this is. I think it is number 22. But without opening it up, I couldn't really tell you for sure. I like these old Gold Key uh, Magnus books. The artwork is, uh, you know, usually very, very good. And the stories are usually very good. So thought I'd pick it up. Picked up a copy of Tarzan of the Apes from Gold Key. I think this is number 177, 178, something like that. Anyway, I know, I'm 90% I'm sure it's got Jesse Marsh art in it. And I like Jesse Marsh. I like his, uh, his Tarzan work. So, for, you know, on the cheap, picked it up. This is the Twilight Zone that had the Werewolf by Night in it. This is Twilight Zone. Like I said, I can't tell because it's Gold Key. I uh, haven't really looked in it yet. I know it's uh, from either 1971, 72, somewhere around in there. Anyway, just a really cool book. So I picked it up. And got another issue of Twilight Zone. These are the ones that I'm really proudest of that I picked up. Just haven't seen these, you know, very much. Uh, this is Kid Montana. From, I know this is from like 1961. Uh, Charlton. Uh, Charlton did some really good Western comics, especially in the early 60s. Um, I'm going to have to look up this movie that it references. They had this contest called Off on a Comet. I'm sure it was a real schlock fest movie, but Anyway, it was made by American International, and from what I know about them, they rolled out some really stupid movies. But, you know, nonetheless, I mean, I'm sure it was a fun movie, so I'm going to look it up and just, just see. Got Sheriff Tombstone from Charlton. This is uh, another early 60s Charlton. I mean, it's in kind of rough shape, but uh, I was able to flip through it a little bit in the uh, store, and it's in... You know, art works really good and the stories look pretty cool. And my find of the day. Not in the best of shape, but it's complete. It's got a front and back cover. And for what I paid for it, it's in pretty darn good shape. Giant size X-Men number two from 1975. Hey, any early X-Men, you know, new X-Men book that I can pick up, I mean, heck, especially for 50 cent, I mean, wow. So, picked this one up, was real proud to get it. Anyway, guys, that is my haul. Uh, hope you saw something that you liked or something sparked an interest. I think I'm going to start making my videos public again, so this will be the first new public one that I posted in uh, a month or two. Anyway, like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you next time.